Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I wanted to start this art vlog to share more about my art process as well as my thoughts on creativity. And so really excited to start this. For this first video, I want to share about myself, my studio, introduce you to my studio neighbors and get you an idea of who I am and my surroundings before starting to paint with you all. I hope you really enjoy it and thanks for watching. So it's happening. I'm starting my own YouTube channel. And this is something I wanted to do for a very long time. Uh, of course, what kept me away of it was the fact that talking to a camera is so difficult. And so I postponed it until now that I just finished a big project. And yeah, I was while finishing this project, which was an exhibition in China in a very nice museum next to Shanghai. I was dreaming of my next thing, of course, you know, like the busiest you are, the more you focus on what's next, I think. And so I just finished a couple of days ago, had a sleep, and uh, now I'm starting with uh, this new adventure, which uh, I think can be very nice. For this first video, I was just thinking of talking about me and who I am. My name is Angela Maria Sierra Teixidó and I signed my work as Rizzo Chan. My work is very emotional. I work on uh, portraits that portray the things I'm feeling. I was always a very sensitive person since I was a child and that is something that was always a little bit uncomfortable and that I tried to push down because you know like at some points in life and I totally get it eh? like maybe I was crying as a child when it wasn't you know cool <laughs> I think I learned that being cold and maybe a bit distant you know was nicer than having your heart uh, in your hand all the time and uh, so for me in like all my teen years and maybe even a little bit after that I always try to push that down and to uh, become maybe someone who I'm really not Um, but then as you get older, I'm <laughs> not that old, but uh, as you grow you realize that actually uh, this is alright, that everyone feels things in a different way. And I decided to use that, all that uh, emotional energy that I bring to my everyday and uh, start painting and using it to fool my creativity and to spark new ideas and and that was really amazing because something that I was pushing all my life down all of a sudden I put it on the paper I felt like such a relief and I felt like finally there is a place for all of this I can use all this sensitivity I can use this emotion and this these pains and these joys and put it in the paper it felt like really awesome and really you know when when you have this feeling that something so so big happens that you feel grateful at everything a bit like that like whoa thanks i don't know to who but thank you i started uh doing that and all of a sudden the magical thing and the beautiful thing is that that started resonating with a lot of people too so i had a very immediate and uh not overnight, but over six months or one year, like uh, amazing growth in Instagram, which really blew my mind away. And it was all because, well, I think like my technical level clicked a little bit for me, you know, but I think that the main thing was that I was opening up and 
putting things in the paper that I maybe never thought of, you know, like uh, putting in the paper and instead of trying to be like someone other, like another artist who already made it, I really tuned to what I wanted to say and who I am as a person and you know, like um, I don't know, I think it was so nice. Um, the amazing thing for me is that you think you have something that's painful or something of yourself that you don't really like and all of a sudden you embrace it and you realize it's actually a superpower. Well, that's what happened to me and I'm really happy being this sensitive self and uh, just if it inspires you, you know. I started my art career as a teacher uh, here in Amsterdam. I opened uh, an art space where I taught workshops and I invited other people to teach. Like five years ago or four years ago, I don't know. And that was really nice because it allowed myself to focus on what I wanted to learn and have a lot of space to learn and I didn't need to make my art commercial or get good clients or I didn't need to make art that worked and that was appreciated from one day to the other. I had a lot of time to study on my own and to tune in with what I wanted to express as well as uh, I taught a lot and teaching you really do learn a lot. And uh, so every time I was interested in a subject like maybe color, I would just uh, force myself to study. But the, the reason was because I could put, okay, in two months I have to understand this very well because I'm going to teach a class about it, you know. So then I started focusing and learning that during a period of time. And once I felt I was really confident, I taught the class and uh, that was a really a way to kick my own butt and push me to learn things that I like uh, but that sometimes you know feel a bit lazy too and uh, yeah that was really nice and then uh, about six months before corona hit I got to a really nice point um, where I invited other teachers to teach in my own space but they were teachers that I really appreciated and teachers, well they weren't teachers, they were artists that uh, were my idols and so the business model was I invite these idols from other countries to teach here I organize everything, the flight and the hotel. I find a group for uh, this workshop, but I also learn from them. And that was, I thought, okay, I made it. This is what I'm gonna do the rest of my life. And I thought that this uh, would be fantastic. And you know, like, uh, I thought I made it really. <laughs> like, this is it. Uh, but uh, in the end, you know, COVID hit and I had to close down uh, everything and everything I had organized for the next six months and um, it was it was quite painful uh, closing down uh, because I was really engaged with that idea but uh, in the end once everything was gone and there was just silence and my days all of a sudden went free I thought well my art is actually clicking and I'm actually getting commissions and people interested in it so I started spending more hours in my own art than and organizing things that other people will do which is great but it's really it's great for a bit but I cannot spend my whole life taking care of others all the time I think we all should take turns on that you know and so it is nice to um, find uh, my own space and my own voice and you know full like um, nourish my own career so I started painting and focusing on that and actually very quickly things clicked because I was there for maybe like half a year or a year before I had to close the, the school. I was there, I was in a place where if I wanted to I knew I had um, I had found something uh, previously what I said, no, the more emotional work and that resonated with others and all that. Uh, but of course you don't want change, you don't want change, you know, you don't want something new and uh, well at least I don't want uh, to, to change my path and more if I'm really convinced that that is it. 
uh, but in the end I opened up to the idea and it was uh, really quickly so I got a um, gallery who represents me in the States and I'm actually gonna do an exhibition with them online this year 2021 and next year on the States I'm gonna do an exhibition I think maybe in New York or Miami with them we're still deciding and uh, now I had this exhibition in China and I'm also working together with a uh, I don't know if you know, but it's like a wall, ex wall uh, exhibitions. They have a monthly exhibition, and, and, I, and I participate with a piece or two. And uh, so, really busy and, and doing work that it's really uh, close to my heart because I can just paint what I felt this day, make a sketch, try to make it work with colors, with the composition, make some photos for reference, and all that. And uh, that's that's fun for me, so it is um, a fun path actually, I like it more, so you know, life, life knows sometimes. Yeah, I can just take some shots, uh, you can move as you want a little bit and if you're a dancer, if you feel like, you know, dancing a little bit, you don't need to like make a full performance, <laughs> yeah, for sure. But if you, you know, feel a bit like with the music, yeah. like moving a bit, I think those might be the most natural and interesting shots that we can do together. Okay. Yeah? I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. So... I uh, work in in a, in this space. Actually, during the last six months, I've been working here because I lost my space before. Uh, well, I, I lost my space with COVID, of course, and uh, really nice. But actually, after just six months, I have to move out, and I hate it. I hate that I have to move out, but it's for a good reason. Uh, I'm buying a house in a different city, in Swolle. And it's a city that you only know if you, you know, are from the Netherlands. Um, but it is one hour away from Amsterdam and I, I think it's nice because we'll be able to have more space than in a house in Amsterdam, which are very expensive so we had to choose between space or events and being close to our friends and <laughs> sorry friends now i'll come back to to visit of course uh, but i'm moving again which is very frustrating because during the last year and a half i moved from studio i think three times or maybe four if we count the time i had to bring everything to my house uh, but hopefully you know the studio i'll have in this new house will last for a little bit longer because i'm a person that i really like i really like stability and i really have this urge to plant my roots and i've never been able to so far because I, uh, I went to, you know, I lived in many cities as a child and I went to many schools. I lived in more than 20 houses, actually like way more than that, like 30. I counted them. And uh, so I always want to, you know, like make friends and have them there for life. I don't know, I know it's a bit childish, but um, it's, it's this feeling of, you know, I want to belong and I want to feel I'm from somewhere and, you know, I want to feel some stability. The longest I've been in the house, in, in the same house, was these last five years that I've been living with my boyfriend. And that's it, <laughs> you know, so it is um, something I would like to happen, if possible. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to start this. I'm also scared. <laughs> really, it's really awkward speaking to a camera. And 
than watching it. <laughs> so I think it's therapy because you really need to come to terms to who you are, how you look, uh, not only that, but also how you express yourself. And I don't know, I think it's hard for everyone. So I think you will all understand. And uh, yeah, so what I want to do this first video is just show you my studio. Uh, I will show you the building where I am because this studio is part of a building that is uh, in a school. Uh, so wait, it's it's a school building that is transformed into offices. So that means that there are a lot of small businesses around me. And it's really nice because even in COVID uh, period, I uh, managed to have a couple of friends that I can see regularly and they are in a couple of rooms uh, next to mine. And yeah, I'll show you a bit of what I'm up to and how my days look like and I think later on on the next video I will show you a bit more of my working process which is the reason why I'm starting this YouTube channel. You're gonna have to give me your information. I'll, I'll comment every time. Ah, nice. <laughs> so nice. Me too. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> but you can just do your things. Right, you can just, just do okay, your so things, you know. What you have to do is you take this and you... <laughs> 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 Kijk, ik ben bezig met de camera like a pro. To wait for him to have finished that and then see what I, how I said it again and whether it's a problem. Yeah. Because maybe I can cut it or maybe I can explain it more. So rather than saying, like I said, I just can explain. Yeah. You're, you're good in the camera, you're getting more and more loose, right? Like normal? It seems like he's adding a sort of yellow filter over it. Ah, so he edited that already. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, like, yeah, he did. When you see Manon, it's like it, it, it seems to be more yellow than... The, maybe it's the, the white balance. Maybe give you something to this video yeah. where I explain about the, you know sit up, have your elbow on the table. And, yeah. And the potato. That's the explanation. I keep finding potatoes in my studio. <laughs> 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 Why does she know it's potatoes? What do you do with them? It's like if your ink doesn't flow from the nib anymore that well, then you put it in here. Oh really? Okay, so now my days since uh, this last year are all about paintings for my exhibitions. So I paint four days a week and uh, then on Saturdays I teach. I love teaching and the education world just, uh, you know, makes me so passionate and interested. I don't know, I love it. I uh, always join every course I can. and. It just, it gives me this uh, warm feeling of my belly, you know, when I'm learning uh, something new and being in a classroom with uh, other people and all that. Uh, so even though now my career is all about my uh, paintings, I did want to keep at least one day a week to teach. I think it's very nice to uh, work together with a group on a goal and do all the steps together to get there. So right now on Saturdays, and today is Saturday, I think in about two hours I'm going to start teaching uh, this class. On Saturdays I teach uh, a course very close to my heart that it's called uh, Introspective Portraits. And it's an eight-week course. Um, what we do there is first learn how to paint a portrait. So we are playful, we experiment with different techniques and learn the basics on how to draw and paint a portrait. And then after that, there are four weeks that are more about like uh, personal research and, uh, and by research I don't mean like looking for 
uh, information but more personal research on yourself like uh, taste uh, the interest the personality and what every person wants to say in their artwork and how can they make artwork that's a bit more you know whole and completed so what we're looking basically is for the voice of each individual, you know, in the course. It's really nice because uh, the first four weeks no one knows each other and it is a little bit distant and colder than after four weeks when everyone knows each other and uh, we all create a safe space. So people can be more personal and talk about their struggles or, you know, their joys or whatever without feeling awkward, which is very nice. I think it's necessary to be able to create a safe space first before start talking about the individuality of every person and what uh, every person is struggling with, finding their own voice and all that. Um, so yeah, this is a course I really love and I want to continue uh, teaching once a week and uh, there are new dates if any of you are interested uh, i will put the link down below i feel like a co-star in your show <laughs> funny <laughs> oh so i thought it would be white ah nice with this wooden yeah, I like color it, cause, like, you know, it's the same as your chair. i think so yeah so i have to flood it otherwise it will dry like this okay. it's really I just went to visit my neighbors uh, in, in a couple of studios next to mine in the same building and uh, really nice they are uh, changing things around the space so Manon which is one of my besties was uh, building well I can show you the, the videos I made was uh, building some furniture from Ikea and Ingrid which is a really really talented artist uh, is making bags with silk screen it is really nice to be able to share even if it's just 10 minutes and um, with other people during my <laughs> lonely creative days i also share the kitchen with them so every time i want tea i have an excuse to go there and then uh, manon uses my space to record because i have nice lighting and you know a backdrop and all that she uses it to record her own courses on Fridays, um, so we do, you know, a bit of give and take. Um, uh, yeah, I might also make some snippets, some videos of uh, her process too, just for fun. So you see my days and my people. That is it. <laughs> yeah, so I think the video will be done, really and I can't wait to start the next one. I think on the next one I might either uh, show you my sketchbooks or uh, maybe it would also be nice to show you how I work on my sketchbooks so um, we paint together and I tell you a bit what I'm thinking about and you know like um, about color and all that and uh, yeah thanks for watching it's really nice to have found the courage to start recording. I hope you give me a warm welcome because making this step is hard and thanks for the warm welcome <laughs> that I will receive and uh, yes really nice I think many cool things can happen from you know starting to share through YouTube. <laughs> anyway bye.